Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. Um, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I'd vlog today, I know it's only gonna be one day because it's Sunday, but I thought I could still show you anyway, um, show you what I get up to. I had a really, really nice day yesterday, but I forgot to bring my camera, which was really annoying. But I did take some pictures of a farm shop we went to, so if I know how, I'll insert them. If not, it was really nice. Um, it was really, really lovely. I can't think whereabouts it was, but it was 25 minutes from my house. Um, and it was so nice. We just had like a really wholesome day. I went with Alex and my sister and yeah, we just went for a nice little walk down the beach and then went to the farm shop and then we went back to my sister's and just had like nice baguettes and stuff. And oh, it was just a really wholesome day. So we did that. Um, and then I had a super chilled evening, stayed in, watched TV ordered sushi and just chilled out so that was very needed and today I'm just gonna have like a nice chilled pamper Sunday um so I thought I could show you like I'll do my skincare and stuff so I can show you what skincare bits I'm loving um I need to edit tonight's video which was the ASOS haul which you would have already seen um I'm about to head out now because I did go out this morning I went to go and get a Starbucks um but heavens opened and it was so wet and windy like my umbrella was going inside out it was just I was blowing all over the place so I thought I'm just gonna come back and wait until it stopped and it's actually it's kind of blue skies now so fingers crossed we'll be fine I just need to pick up a parcel from the news agents which is about 20 minutes away so it's not very long but oh god achy arm. um but I might go for a walk as well depending on what the weather's like so take you with me um i think that's about it to update you on yeah i mean it's probably going to be a really short video because i'm not like i said i'm not really doing anything today but i thought it'd be quite nice to show you anyway ignore the mess i need to do a tiny tiny bit of cleaning but not much because i told myself i'm gonna have a really chill day because i just never ever do it i keep telling myself that i need to like at least have one day of the weekend where i don't do anything but i always end up somehow being busy um sometimes doing nothing but yeah i never seem to sit down and chill so that's what i'm going to do today and i can show you guys what i get up to at the same time so yeah um fingers crossed i don't get soaked now and then i can get the camera back out when i'm out on my little walk but that's about it for now see you in a bit okay oh it's quite dark but i thought i would quickly show you my outfit of the day before i head out um very chilled sunday vibe today but i have my New York Jets sweatshirt from H&M, um, it's quite old though so it's not in stock anymore but um, lounge apparel, leggings, Adenola socks, feeler trainers, um, this puffer jacket which I absolutely live in, this is from Naked Fashion as is this scarf and it is the softest scarf I think I've ever owned, um, so all snug and then yeah I'm just going to grab my tote bag and my umbrella and we're good to go. my little walk um I went to the news agents and then just to pick up that parcel and then I thought you know what whilst it's not raining I'm still gonna go to the beach so I had a nice little walk down there got a pastry on the way it was a proper like Sunday morning kind of vibe um and I got I thought I'd show you what I'd got from um but I put the clips in how's a hairband ended up there that was uncomfortable um but yeah I thought I'd show you what I got from Bert's um so really random one but 
I always, I keep having really weird dreams at the minute, like, they're all different, they, they don't relate to anything, well, this is what I got this for, but yeah, they're not like related to each other, but I keep having really weird dreams, and then I'll remember them for like the first hour of the day, um, and then like if I try and tell someone later on, I'll be like, oh my god, I can't remember what it was, <laughs> so I found these, which I thought was really cute, um, is that going to focus? Yeah, can you see that? Dream decoder. So, it's supposed to tell you what your dreams are about. Um, I've not actually opened them, I just read the back. But yeah, it just says like, are you curious to see what your dreams mean? Um, these cards will allow you to interpret common dreams, helping you to learn about your deep secrets and hidden feelings. Cute. Um, so, try and open these without breaking the box. Okay, I can't do that. I cut my nails down, like, um, around... It's after I took my Christmas nails off, actually. And now I'm, like, loving a really short nail. Because I used to have, like, the long, like, nail art, which I do love. And will go back to you at some point, but... I'm trying to save money, and that's one thing I can cut out. So, I'm trying to do things with no nails. It's actually proving quite difficult. Eh. Okay, we're in. We'll get into these at some point today. Here we go. Cute, and they're like little pack of cards. I know you can get books um, like these. I brought my friend once a book, literally about like your dreams and stuff when, I think it's her birthday years ago, and I always wanted to get one, but then I saw these cards and thought, wow, oh, this is really cute. I love stuff like this. See how it's like airplanes, dancing. Hold on. Let's hold it like this. Do you see that? Yeah, and there's like basically what it all means. Love it. So. These will be interesting, and that was only six ninety nine. And I thought, what a cute little, cute little thing. I love the Burt's Home sh Home Store. I feel like it's the perfect place to go for like a gift or something for someone. It's such a nice little shop. So speaking of, I then also got these little bottle lights. There, cute. So you can see you can like pop the little cork in, and then it goes in your bottle. I've got these for my sister because um. She always keeps like her wine bottles and gin bottles and stuff and puts like a candle on the top. So I thought that's just a cute little, cute little idea. So, so I'm going to give them to her. Just for a little, little treat. Um, and then I also got, ooh, oh, that'll be on my umbrella. So this turned into a little um, unboxing thing. I just got these candles. Love the colours. Aren't they so sweet? Um, because I have this little pot thing that I always put them in. Cute, and they were only 79p each, so I got three. Um, and yeah, that's all I got from town. And then, might as well open my parcel while I'm here. It's from Otrium, I think is that how you say it? Um, but it's a really good website. I've only shopped on there once, actually. Um, I'm doing some work with them over on my Instagram, but I'd never shopped on there before and it's like got so, 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 so many different brands on there. Um, definitely worth looking if you're looking for like a little designer piece or, yeah, there's so much on there. So, oh, cute. I really, really like this jumper. I love a sweatshirt. Love it. Oh, it's from a brand called Daily Paper, and I hadn't actually heard of them before. But how sweet is that? I got it a size up because I wanted like an oversized fit. Oh, I love it. That's so cool, especially that like, I could wear it with this outfit. I'm gonna try and wear like, leggings and socks. Oh, I kind of want to change into it now. Does anyone else do that? Like when you get something new, you just want to change into it straight away. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Love, love, love that. And then, also from the same brand, I got a little, I think this is a tote bag. Uh, oh. Oh, cool. It's a different material to what I was expecting, but I do really like that. I don't know if you can really see, it's like a... <laughs> can you hear it? It's a weird one, so. It's like a, um... It feels waterproof, I'm just gonna say that. It feels waterproof, but that's cute. Another little tote bag. Oh, that's a khaki color, I don't have any like that. All my tote bags are um, cream. So, successful little shop. Um, so I thought now, 
it is, oh my god, it's 20 to 2, the day's gone so quick. Um, everything is done though, like I did a little quick clean. I know I said I wasn't really going to do much, but I just hoovered my bedroom, took some stuff outside, um, and now I can chill because it's all like, it feels a bit zen in here, which is nice. So I thought, um, let's do some skincare. I think I'm going to do a nice little face mask, so I will show you in fact let's do it now let's go um i can find somewhere to put you in here um i look so pale i need to fake down um or have a holiday either one would suit me very nicely let's put you okay how's that that's not too bad is it and it's a little bit wonky but we're just gonna go with it so um I um, can't actually wash my hair yet. Normally I do like a hair mask on a pamper day. Like I keep using at the minute the Olaplex number three and I love it already. Like after I use it, I put it in for like, I don't know, anytime between like 15 minutes, half an hour. Um, and my hair feels so soft the next day. But the reason I can't wash my hair yet it looks a little bit gross is because i had on friday yeah i went to the avery salon in brighton um which i've been there twice and I can, i'm obsessed with it i love it there so much um max who does my hair is just a dream he's so nice and yeah i love it there so i went on friday um to have the smoothing treatment done and they basically put keratin in your hair um Definitely go on their website and check it out because I'm probably doing a really like backhanded job of describing this. But they put like keratin in your hair and it um, it's like a smoothing treatment, so it gets rid of frizz, like defines your curls, will make my hair like a lot less puffy, um, which <laughs> which I need, and it reduces like blow drying time and everything like that. And it lasts for about four months. So when you have it done, you can't wash your hair for 72 hours. So that was on Friday. So. I'll wash my hair tomorrow night and then it'll be nice to see what it's like with the curls at the minute it's like straight but it looks a little bit gross and this isn't going to look any nicer but I mean oh god this looks wonderful does it tell you what hair is in a bun anyway so I might not even need that I might just put this little hairband in instead third video on YouTube and I look or fourth. Cute. Right, so I'm going to use, I keep disappearing, it's because everything's over there. First of all, I'm going to use the Blackcurrant Jelly Exfoliator, which is Elemis. Um, and this is the first time I've actually used this and I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. I'll show you the colour of it, but it's, um, it's really dark and I love it. Uh, or, no, tell you what, first of all, I'm going to use the La Roche-Posay cleanser, which I use all the time, because I'm going to use it with my Freo Mini, which I absolutely love. I think this is the, mm, I'll keep it really high up, I think this is the Mini 2, Luna Mini 2, yeah, I've had this for a few years now, and I used it religiously for like six months, um, and then I just kind of, I think the battery died and I forgot to charge it off and just stopped using it. But I really missed using it, so I'm trying to get back into that again. Um, it's quite weird having you over there, isn't it? But I haven't ever asked to put you. So, basically just use this. And it's like a little mini facial. Oh, I love it. That's so nice. Can you hear that? Done. It's honestly, ah, oh, it's a dream. It feels so nice, and I feel like it really gets into your pores and gets everything out. So I like to do this before. I don't use this every day. Probably only a couple of times a week. I mean, you I, you are supposed to use them every day, I think. But I like to do it, especially when I'm having a little pamper day, because I feel like it just opens up all the pores, gets all the dirt out. And it's so relaxing. And then I'm just gonna 
Wash that off. My face is going to go so red, by the way. I don't know why it does this. Honestly, I put a bit of water on my face and it goes bright red. Like, it doesn't take much. I have really sensitive skin, I think that's why. But that's all off. Oh, fresh. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how dark this is. Can you see that? It's like... Can you see? Yeah. And it's got all, like, the... Um, exfoliating bits in it and it almost like warms up when you're putting it on mm -mm -mm. honestly it makes your skin feel so so soft after it's this off obviously there is nothing better than a sunday pamper day mm -hmm. okay that's all off I haven't done like my skincare routine on like here or more obviously but on Instagram or anything in such a long time. I did it. Ah, run out of cotton pads. Yeah, the last time I did it was um the very start of lockdown I think. I did like an IGTV, do you remember when they just became a thing? Um but I really need to get more into it. I think it's because I need to update my skincare routine. Oh, so I'm now using the the Rush Pose. It's their toner. It's that one. I honestly, I swear by this brand. I like to try other like cleansers and moisturizers and stuff like that in between, but I will always still use this cleanser and that toner just because it works wonders for my skin. I've recommended it to so many people who love it. I look so red. Ooh. Um, yeah, I've recommended it to so many people who love it just as much as me and. I've always heard such good things about it, so there's that. Right, and then um, face mask. I'm gonna use, I think, this one. Yeah, the purifying glow mask from Body Shop. Oh my god, look at that! Love it. I got this with their um, advent calendar that they had, which. Honestly, it was so good. I also from there, which I'll put on after this. This moisturiser has very quickly become like a favourite in my routine. It feels so, so nice and it's a vitamin C one. So it's just making my skin look a little bit more alive. Um, this looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, my plans for this today are edit, um... YouTube tonight's YouTube video. Watch a lot of Netflix. I really want to watch. Um, there's one that everyone's talking about. It's a film. It's about tin Tinder something. I think it's like a thriller kind of movie. Um, God, I can't think what it's called. Tinder something. Anyway, I want to watch that. Um, and I also want to finish watching The Woman Who Lives Across the Road from The Woman in the Window, maybe? That one that everyone's talking about. I want to finish watching that because I started watching it on Friday at my parents and it was really good. So I want to start watching that. Right, I'm going to speed this up and get this on. Okay, fully aware I look a little bit strange right now. Let's take this off. No, nope, looks equally as strange. Um, but I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and oh my God, this looks so weird. <laughs> um, and then I will wash it off in like 15 minutes and show you the rest. Okay, time to take it off. Can you see it's like really dry? Um, so I'm just gonna take this off. That's off. My face is really red, but like it doesn't look that bad in real life. Anyway, um, I'm now going to use the moisturizer that I was telling you about, the Body Shop Vitamin C. That's so weird. I promise I'm literally not this red in real life. Anyway, Vitamin C moisturizer, and it's so nice and like 
it's just always cold. <laughs> it's really nice. I like really, really moisturising and it almost kind of feels a bit like a gel. Um, so it's quite a light moisturiser. Um, and I think probably maybe like middle of winter I'd use a bit of a thicker one and I do like at night time I tend to put a thicker one on but in the day I love and then ah. I'm now just gonna put a few drops on of the Elemis superfood oil yeah I'm just gonna do about four drops of that rub that into the skin it honestly makes me feel like I'm at a spa. And then I'm just going to use my um, jade stone roller thing to rub it in a little bit. Okay. And now I feel super fresh. Um, I'm going to make a smoothie, I think, is what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Let's do that now. I was filling out my perfectly planned 2022 book, <laughs> 2020. Um, I absolutely love this. It's from Carrie and Co. And it's so nice. It's absolutely massive. And I think it just, it's so nice to do, especially on a Sunday. I like to like sit down and you can really like see what your plans are for the week. And it just helps me feel a lot more organised, like going into the week. And then I feel like everything that's scattered in my brain um, is there and planned out so hopefully you saw enough about what's inside but i'll give you a quick little talk for it anyway um i need to get better at filling it out because yeah i haven't filled it out since like mid jan and i need to get better at it because it does make me feel a lot better but yeah so you basically have for example each like day of the week and then you can time block it down here ah. so it's like starts at six ends at 10 p.m and then there's like notes you can make throughout the day, top three things that you need to do that day. Um, so that's on every day of the week. And then it also has um, a little quote at the bottom of each page, which I really, really like. So for example, this one says, allow yourself to be a beginner, no one starts off being excellent. And I feel like that's really cute. I love little quotes like that. I have so many books and stuff. Um, but, and then yeah, you have at the start of each month, there's like top goals for the month how are you feeling at the start of this month and tasks complete so then you can like plan it by month so yeah you can plan it by week at the beginning of each week there's like a little breakdown of each, of each day then you have the day and then the month so i just love it i would highly highly recommend it um yeah oh i haven't even seen that bit oh my god cute Oh, that's really sweet. I've not actually seen that. Kind of annoying. I missed it. But um, the camera just fell. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I hadn't even seen this until now. But it basically says at the end of each... Um, where's that gone? Um, what are you grateful for this month? Your biggest achievements? or anything you wanted to achieve but didn't? So yeah, I would highly recommend this. I think it's about... It's between like 40 and 50 quid. Um, so it is a bit expensive. But it lasts you the whole year. So if you think of it like that and break it down to each month. Then it's definitely, definitely worth it. I also have their um manifesting notebook which is super cute and um, i literally look like an egg is that any better at all not probably not because the camera's gonna fall down i have to sit here instead um but yes i hope you have enjoyed this vlog i didn't really do much i know you probably what did you last actually see i know i was showing you getting the sofa bed out um and i was like getting all cozy and stuff and then my camera died but between then i watched that um, Tinder program I told you about and 
edited my YouTube video, which took me a while because I got an hour in and then I accidentally pulled the memory stick out and lost an hour of editing. And that was fun. But anyway, that's gone up now, so that's all good. It's about half nine, so I'm going to take my cup of tea to bed, do a bit of reading and try and wind down because I've got a bit of a headache. Um, and yeah, get ready for the new week. Feeling positive. I had a really good weekend and I feel like it's put me in such a good mindset for a new week and like feeling a bit more positive. I've had a like down few weeks so yeah. yeah. Feeling good. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and I don't know what the next one will be yet but I have decided if you haven't already noticed that my upload days are going to be on Sundays now just because it means that I've got the weekend to edit it when I'm at work and stuff. Um, I don't have to worry too much because I can do it at the weekend. So at least that's one thing we have organised. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying them all so far and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.